Nancy. Welcome back for episode four of Building the Nantahala Retreat here in Western North Carolina, brought to you by Keeps. Today we're gonna stucco the basement wall. We're also gonna do the slab plumbing so that our sewage ends up down here in the septic tank. So you remember last week with the wheelbarrow and everything spilled out when you tipped it over? Yeah, I was trying to forget that. Yeah, well, you know, we don't forget things, we right? Don't forget things <laughs> so, and it's on thing. We got you something here. It's a uh, wheelbarrow with training wheels. It's a double tire wheelbarrow. And uh, once it's assembled, you know, you're good to go. Good to tip it over again? You know, it's a baby's first wheelbarrow. <laughs> yeah, it's That's, you can't tip it over. <laughs> Let's get this thing put together. <laughs> We're about a half hour into this project. How are you feeling about it? Don't they make these things assembled already? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I never would have imagined. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Quit beating it. <laughs> kind of embarrassing right here. <laughs> I feel like the parts aren't like made to fit right. It's just, we're just having to force everything way too much. But... All right, Ray. Wait, 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 don't tip me. Don't tip you. Dude. You can't tip it. Oh, that's perfect. It sounds like it's about to break. <laughs> right, here we go. So our first real project of the day, like paying project, was to get a coat of stucco put on this wall. And since we still don't have running water on the job, we used the pump sprayer to dampen the wall before applying the stucco. This base coat of stucco is what I would call a parge coat. Its main purpose is to help waterproof the wall and keep the basement dry. It's not really for looks. If you want it to really look great, you'd have to do a second coat over top of this. If you didn't know, masonry, especially block, is extremely porous and it's like a sponge. In these shots, you can actually see the water getting absorbed very quickly and sort of disappearing. That's why we're moistening the wall and that's why we need this parge coat of S-type mortar that is much more water impervious than the block itself. You gotta be joking me, dude. Did they do that in the NFL? Miss them down? Athletes? Yeah, athletes. Yeah, I just remember I had a bunch of uh, weed killer in that thing yesterday. Yeah, I tasted it whenever I had to blow <laughs> this no, nozzle probably out. Probably not a good idea right now. Right, scoop, stick, slide. A little bit of noise, that's, not too much hey, scrapey. That's garbage. <laughs> I couldn't help but notice that you're eating lettuce. Yeah. And and Jason just <laughs> throwing his lettuce Yo, on the dude, ground. Just throw that in here, not on the ground. Oh, <laughs> dude, you got more stuff in your beard than you do even in your face, in your mouth. Oh, look what I'm eating with. Jeez. Chevy, baby. Chevy. Look at this truck. I know. Chevy. Ray shows up and he's in a new truck. America. You've been talking about getting a truck for like six months and you still don't have one. What's going on? Do it's I need not to, my fault. Do I need dude. to up your pay a little or something? You need to do something. <laughs> well, he's trying to get a camper before he gets a truck. Oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. No. Look at you already leaning on this truck like you're <laughs> like this. you own it. It's like a freaking commercial right here. On a job site, Ray's <laughs> leaning on his truck. Up next, we got going with our slab plumbing, which is actually the plumbing under the slab, which is all drain lines so that this place can gravity drain down to the septic tank. I started with doing a little measuring and double checking since my plumber pointed out a few dimensions were missing off this basement level that he needed to go ahead and put pins that would represent the inside or outside of some of the walls in the basement. The water supply for this house will be coming underground from about 40 feet away from a well and we need it to go through this basement wall so we actually need to knock a hole in it now before it's poured solid in concrete and put a sleeve for the one inch water line that'll run through later. My plumber did tell me to stand clear before he knocked through the backside, but I didn't 
and I got blasted in the face and scratched my camera lens. And there you have it, a nice clean hole through our wall to run the water line through later. After that, we were off to the races digging a nice sloped trench for our main water line to run down and out of the house. Now the plumber could have brought a small machine to dig these trenches for us, but I told him that I would be here with the guys and we didn't mind running a shovel, which was a horrible thing to say. Is that all you guys done? Dude, I'll trade you jobs in two seconds. Bro, I <laughs> got half this house already. You dug like six inches. <laughs> rock it's solid rock 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 <laughs> oh my gosh dude got a little more to go we got a lot more to go oh really that's not good <laughs> i'm like i'm like done so i'm gonna take a break for a second this video is made possible by keeps and it's no secret that i am getting older and it's really obvious when i look at old pictures of me and my kids and just like two out of three guys over the age of 35, I'm having some hair loss. But I decided to do something about it by using Keeps. With the Keeps, you get to skip the long pharmacy lines and awkward doctor visits and get your hair loss medication delivered right to your door. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss products out there. You may have tried them before, but probably not for this price. With hair loss, prevention is key, so it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you'll save. If you're ready to take action to prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash Perkins, or click the link in our description to receive 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash Perkins. Since I'm not a plumber at all, I'll just tell you what my plumber did, and he did a great job, is we started as far away from the sewer sleeve as we could get in the house, making that the highest point in this whole drain system. And then we worked our way back towards that sewer sleeve, keeping the desired slope, which is only about a quarter inch of fall per foot. And that gives you the slope that will let the solids and the liquids in those pipes flow at about the same speed, which is important. You don't want the liquids outrunning the solids. We decided to go with a floor drain in the mechanical room for any condensate from the heat and air unit. This requires a P-trap which had to be chiseled down into the soft rock with the claw of a hammer. We kept making our way down the line, there, making sure yeah. that each section of pipe had the proper amount of fall. And at a certain point, I realized we had not done near enough digging down near the outlet of this system, and it was back to digging again. I had to get Jason and Ray to jump in with me because I literally could not lift my arms after about 30 more minutes of this. Matic. Is that what it's called? <laughs> or uh, no, that's a Matic. It sucks. <laughs> Whatever it is, I don't give a crap what you call it. <laughs> yeah. Up to this point, all of the drain lines had been three-inch pipe to here, where we needed to switch to four-inch drain line because there's a fourth toilet teeing in. And that brought us to the end of the line at our sewer sleeve. Ready? Yeah. That was it. That's how you always get dirt up in the ends of the place. Yeah. I installed sewer and water for a year. Really? I did. That's how long you were doing at his house. <laughs> <laughs> in Illinois. Yeah, I did concrete for a year and I did sewer and water work for a year. For the city? I should give you a pay raise. With all of the drain lines now installed, our plumber now capped off each of the open ends temporarily with a rubber cap, and then also added a pressure gauge to one of those openings so that we can pressurize this whole system with five pounds of pressure. It has to hold air to make sure it won't leak water, and that's what the inspector is gonna be looking for. 
With that, we could cover some of the sections of pipe, but we did need to leave any joints or connections exposed so the inspector can look at those as well. And we did try to use clean dirt, although that was nearly impossible on this site. This tub box will leave a void in our slab so that the plumbing can be hooked up to the bottom of a shower later. And we also use this piece of foam that leaves a little void so that the drain line of our toilet can actually go over top of the drain line that's in the slab. Good day, fellas. Yeah, man. I'm glad we're not plumbers all the time. Or ever. <laughs> <laughs> that would have sucked for them to do it all by themselves. Well, I told them I'd have a machine out here, so, you know, that was uh, Sheen. Yeah. <laughs> Ma Sheen. So we I didn't did, lie. We got it started. Yeah. We did a lot. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you know, your thumbs hurt from all that editing, so. If any of you are wondering where Jamie has been in these past few episodes, let's drive to town and I will show you. He's also been hard at work trying to finish up his project in town, which is going to be an Airbnb, and he's putting the finishing touches on it so he can actually rent it this summer. From what I can tell, the major remaining thing that needs to be done is to finish this crazy spiral staircase thing he's building that is bulletproof because it's made out of layers of Kevlar and steel and it's freestanding. It's gonna be really cool when it's done, but I know this is a lot of work. This stairway will be finished out with treads made of ash that will match the rest of the flooring and also a fully custom welded handrail and railing system from the shop. Good luck, Jamie.